Welcome. I'm just on this, um, well, flagship of ours, Arc Linux XFC Openbox i3 in one. And one of the things I have not explained yet, but of course already commented probably in some of uh, some kind of video or forum or post or Discord or Telegram, is Quantum. We've installed Quantum Manager, a simple GUI for installing, selecting, and manipulating quantum themes. Not only that, there is also some themes installed. So let's investigate what's on your system. Okay, he's on the motorcycle. If you can do, if you can remove it, then you know it's on your system, right? So this is on your system. The Quantum QT5 and the Quantum Theme Arc. And as you know, we have standard this blue line and the blue line means you have arc. There are different variations of that. If you go to appearance, you can choose the color of the quantum, sorry, of the arc theme. So that's the choice, but basically it's the arc theme that comes back in here. So this is just coming from Arch Linux. Okay. What else? Um, what else I would do if I wouldn't know what to do? I would go to Pamac AUR. I would look it up. Okay, Quantum. So there is more about Quantum. There's Qt5 installed, installed. But there is a theme adapter. There is theme Materia. There is the Linux Quantum Git, which is installed for the configuration. LXQT, we are going to try to get rid of that and just keep one of them, right? Just one setting and that's it okay so there's nothing more we can actually click here and see that it's coming from somewhere an svg based theme engine for qt5 including config tool and extra themes and it's coming from suyan right so you click okay and then you have a look so okay quantum 1536 commits what's interesting for you to know is what's the last commit so June 17, 2020, correct year, correct month, and it's yesterday. I mean, it's up to date, people, well, Tsuyan is still working on it. It's still a project that's ongoing, right? So that's also an important um, information that we gather from the internet. Thanks to the Papyrus team, there is help from others, so that's cool as well. So we have this um, quantum. We have releases here. Better calculations for progress bars, and you can go over some of these explanations. But we would like to have some kind of wiki or anything like it, right? But sometimes these GitHubs have that, and sometimes they don't. So in this case, it's that they don't. So then um, I would go for Quantum Manager. Maybe first start with the wiki, right? Arch wiki. That's the two words I I've probably typed the most in my life. Arch wiki. And then you start with quantum. And you'll see if something comes up. Oh, cool. What's that kind of thing? Being never heard about that. So maybe include that in the video as well. Click here. Then search. Then Google. And then set as default. And then that's that. And now he knows, he needs, he needs to use Google. So Arch Wiki Quantum. And there is a QT, probably it's Quantum, here it is, word mentioned, that's the application. That's our themes, Quantum Arch Linux, Quantum Manjaro, Manjaro Linux, go and have a read. But first hit is probably gonna be interesting. And look at that, Arch Linux how to change the look of some applications with quantum. So I have made a video about it, but it has been a while. So Qt, Qt is a cross-platform application and so on. You go and read it. It's the basis of KDE software. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also other guys for VLC, VirtualBox and yes, Super F7, right? VirtualBox has been colored in some way. Never heard about well, that one, but you read. There is Qt5 vision, different versions, right? But it's important. Well, 
just now we're at five and somewhere here it is quantum there are other guys here the qt file style plugins which has moved by the way to aor and it's mentioned here just recently and other elements you can actually try but we're talking about this guy right data arc ambiance but material is not there so we've seen both that there is another one quantum qt5 and that's it with that information you probably need to rock and roll right let's do control find quantum four times mentioned which means one two three four and that's it with this information you need to uh, rock and roll like i said now i'm not a specialist i learn i dabble but what have i learned what has changed in our system right mouse click open a new window eric config voila and then there is this folder called quantum here you are and the quantum kf or kv config okay and what have we put in here we told to the system if um you you're going to use arc dark for simple screen recorder for qubit torrent All right that's why this thing is blue arc dark arc dark the same blue so it's it's it fits into the whole into the whole system that's the point otherwise we get something different a different kind of look which then the application stands out out of the operating system so that's the goal to have a universal look in our systems vlc is there as well okay so the look is uh, the blue look right okay and so on i could go and open up others eh? flame shots octopi octopi notifier image writer key pass xc and things that we notice when we're working on our 16 desktops at this point in time and this is the point in time uh, we say okay but well, better to leave uh, to get these this um, look this nice look of arc and tell it to the system lxqt leave for example it's a pop-up where you can click on the icons log out shut down hibernate and so on right but it was ugly looking and, and out of place but when we say to quantum look that particular application needs to be laid out as an arc dark then everything is nice right and virtualbox has a default now you can change all these things up first for example you can just delete this thing right and then you start from scratch again so that's a possibility and maybe we should do that so just put it put it to your desktop done right cancel cancel qubit torrent is here exit vlc this is my look of vlc now and as i think cause of because of the fact that of course we have quantum installed because this looks like the quantum standard theme let's move to quantum itself so change uh, select the quantum theme folder never touch this uh, you install the pseudo pacman minus s you've seen what we can do pseudo pacman minus s and then quantum something right so theme material is something we could install and then evaluate if we like it right that's simple as that pseudo pacman minus s better maybe close it up so we can see the new theme change and delete themes quantum default drop down arc arc dark adapta adapta dark ambiance arc arc dark bash blender brown curves uh, lots of things to choose and here's our latest installation materia material dark material light you see 
Go and have a read. Um, since Quantum is dependent of all desktop environments, you first need to activate it with the Qt Platform Integration Program. KDE and LXCT provide simple tools. Activate Qt Style Plugin. Okay, other KDE. Select Apply uh, because something else. Okay, so it has never been that easy to to figure out. But what we do. So, like I said, I dabble in this particular area. I'm not sure about anything, but what I'm sure of is that the application themes, that's the one that interests me. Here I can say, here you get assigned themes to a specific application. For each theme, you could add a comma separated list as the one we have got here, right? The comma separated list and of executables whose application should use that theme instead of the active theme after doing so far and so on and so on. So basically I'm telling to the system quantum default nothing. Install theme quantum default no applications. And in the drop down with arc dark I'm gonna say have more applications. So I've moved it back back inside the folder so you see what's happening are dark. It's basically just reading now what's in here. Right? It's just reading the text there. So you can either change the text here or, well, use it here and just type it. You actually have to type it. And the comma here has a space here. It doesn't have a space here. It's the way it is. So if I want to apply quantum theme to VirtualBox, here it is, then I do it here. If I don't apply it and I say, no, forget about it, VirtualBox is not included and I start VirtualBox, I do get the same look, do I? No, it's, um, it is the same look. Let me see. Let's open Quantum Manager again. <coughs> if we do our dark, for example, let's see if we add virtual box to it. I'm not sure if we see it immediately or after reboot super F7. All right, that's obvious. That's that's our arc theme, right? But I didn't like the arc theme because of the fact that it's so, so white. Oh, all right. I haven't created a new one. Fifty-fifty. So you can't hardly read the text that's in here. So that's my decision, of course. I said, look, I'm not gonna use our dark for that. I'm using quantum default. I save, quit, and super F7. And that's the quantum theme. This I can read. It's not the blue theme but at least it's it gives me readable letters and virtual box is well probably not for everybody anyway right it's when you try to emulate an operating system inside an operating system that's virtual box okay um we could have some fun from now on because there is more to choose Right, so maybe if I say, I'm gonna take this with me, Control X, save, and then go for, I don't know. Let's take the last one we've installed, Materia Dark, Virtual Box, save, right? And then Super F7 is better. And then we get this look. I don't know if you like it, right? But it's it's different. 
Let's try something else because there's not that much difference, I must say. That can go, and that can go. So that's the look now. Show. Um, oh, quantum. So that was materia. It was. And we can get to, I don't know, Yaru. Never tried it. So it's a lot of time wasting, of course, as well. I mean, you have to choose everything, launch everything, change everything. And now I have this. This is actually not bad either. And the menu is going to be like this. Oh, this might be a winner. But then, of course, you need to have this, you need to like this orange look, right? So that's Kave Yaru. And we have simplicity. Let's take that. See how simple it is. <laughs> Safe. So, like this one. Mm -hmm. Yaru. I keep it in mind. Virtual box. All right. Not bad either. Go and have a look at the menu. This has this uh, blue slider in it, blue gradient color. So, you're out. Simplicity. Mojave, maybe. Let's see. Save. Super F7. And this is unreadable, right? So we agree that this is not a good one since we can't actually read it. How about mixed, maybe? And that's what takes so long eh? to see. Mm, not bad either how um, everything is looking and everything should be looking whatever you click whatever you do it should be looking nice right everything should be readable like every pop-up every drop down should be well to your liking basically so this is actually not a bad one either let's go back to the one i had and let's compare because it's just a change away i mean it's just a config file and then save. So this is the quantum. The Yari was nice. I don't know what this was again. Forgot it. Mojave, I think. Mixed. Right. That's not bad either. Still is okay. In design wise, we have this blue, which is, of course, a little bit darker, but okay. Uh, not that anybody probably is going to notice that. But it's it still has to fit into the whole of your operating system. That's the only goal, right? So save, super F7, and this is my look now. So this is, has a blue border, this is more grayish border. Well, maybe it's the same, well, might be the same. Difficult to see, but I think it's the same. But these guys, these guys are different, right? So these guys are have a completely different look. And what look do you like to work? That's basically all this. That's quantum. But like I said, uh, I haven't tried everything and anything. I've just played around with this particular part, application themes. But there's so much more to do and probably to break. But that's, um, that's the fun part as well. You can always reset and say, OK, let's do it again. And here we have a preview button to have a look at things, things you've changed. But there is so much in there that's actually without any tutorial, unless I can still find one for you guys. But um, quantum tutorial or examples or something. So that's for me. No, it's not. Primal Pingin, Ping Penguin. So I'll have a look what these guys tell you about it. Um, Ubuntu Buzz. That's more out there. And then there's Arclinix here, how to change the look. So the information is out there. Lots of images to fall in love with. 
and to try and, and to emulate or try to make the same kind of thing. So lots of things to change. Lots of things to try. And here's a help. I didn't notice the help, but I guess I have to click something or something. Uh, let's see if I can click this one and then that one and then this one. Okay. Team inspired by Enlightening. Or Dark Star, correct. I guess that's that. So that leaves you with a tool to choose some themes, add some themes, right? There was there still one more? I don't think there was any more. We've installed it all. And maybe I can finish with one last thing. Theme adapter, was that installed? It's not, so that's now installed. So three themes, but I was just thinking, you have to have the, ref the reflex in the Arch Linux or Arch Linux to do a yay. Go and look on Arch user repository, right? Quantum, go for it. So this is Arch Linux, this is Arch Linux, and then we go up to AOR and in there is also another theme it seems and another theme Chromios and Sweets and Vimix and so on and so on and so on. All right, have fun.